Okay, let's say you're asked to find the domain of f of x equals the square root of x minus 6. Well, we're not dealing with complex valued functions. So you're not allowed to have a negative underneath this radical here. So to find the domain of a radical function, just set the radicand greater than or equal to 0. x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. Add 6 to both sides. x is greater than or equal to 6. So you could say the domain in interval notation goes from 6 to infinity, including the 6. Not including infinity, of course. So there's the domain in, in number 1. Give me just a second to make more room here. OK. Uh, the domain in number 2, it's a rational function. We're not allowed to uh, divide by 0. So to find out what x can't be, set the denominator equal to 0 and solve. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. I think this will probably factor. So set up your two parentheses, x and x. Uh, it's going to involve a 3 and a 5. One of them is going to have to be negative. To get a negative 2, I think it'll have to be x minus 5 and x plus 3. If you set both factors equal to 0 and solve, you'll get x equals negative 3, x equals 5. So these are the, exactly the values that x cannot be. So uh, we restrict them from our domain. Uh, if, if you wanted to write the domain in interval notation, it's actually a little cumbersome, but you can do it. The domain goes from negative infinity to negative 3, not including negative 3 union negative 3 to 5, not including negative 3 or 5, union 5 to infinity.